A friend of mine named Jeremy Robbins uh, made a film called The Other Side of the Water. The, the Other Side of the Water is um, a documentary about uh, a group of musicians in Flatbush, Brooklyn, um, who uh, play a kind of music called rara. Rara is a, a, a Haitian processional music um, that actually the, the timing for this event is, is uh, pretty interesting because um, traditionally the time when Rara is played is beginning on Ash Wednesday and ending at Easter. Um, it, there's a lot of drumming and there's a lot of, uh, they, they play trumpets called konas. Um, and uh, my friend Jeremy made the film, invited me to come see it. And I wound up seeing it uh, several times. Um, over the, the third or fourth uh, viewing, I really started to fall in love with the, the characters, these uh, Haitian men in their 20s and early 30s who uh, had bonded together, formed these bands, and really um, on the other side of the water in America, not Haiti anymore, their music was a way of creating an alternative family for themselves and a support system. Um, so flash forward um, three and a half years, um, the Haitian earthquake happened, uh, January 2010. And um, that was right around the time I was starting to think of ideas for a, a second novel. Um, I thought back to all these, <laughs> these young men who I had empathized with um, in the film and just I couldn't uh, stand the thought of what might have happened to their families. Um, I went to a couple screenings because of course after the earthquake anything Haitian became of interest to Americans in a way that it hadn't been before. So I got to see these guys again, you know, sitting that weird feeling of watching a movie and having some of the subjects for the movie sitting right next to you and uh, I got to chat with them and and uh, get to know them a little more. So then I thought, well, how do I do a, you know, I, I'm, I'm in my genre, I'm writing this young adult middle grade material, how could I make a story that would involve um, that world? So what I did is I, I thought of this title, A Song for Bijou, the title came before anything else did, and then I thought, well, okay, let's say I have a 12 or 13 year old Haitian girl who's just moved over here, and her older brother is in a band like this. So. That was the idea, it really started uh, as my, my first book, Rules to Rock By, did with um, music and then trying to figure out how to create a story around something that was musically inspiring.